Hey everybody, welcome to the Bob's Burgers After Show here on AfterBuzz TV. Season 7, Episode 17, Zero LARP 30, and 18, The Laserinth. We'll be breaking down these episodes and talking about all the fun little events that occurred after the break. You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin! Oh yeah! I've missed that little yeah. little ukulele ditty. Especially because it's been so long. I know. Yeah, I want to say it's been like three weeks since we got an episode. It's been. Yeah. It's definitely been a minute. Yeah. Uh, it's been an entire like, month. Here we are. A hot minute, even. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like a really, really, really long minute, lasting several weeks. Yeah. Uh, but it's over. We are back. This is the Bob's Burgers After Show here on AfterBuzz TV. If you guys Ooh. have not uh, done so already. Uh, go on over to iTunes, subscribe, leave us reviews, all like that. Us. Exactly, oh. yeah, like us, like our, the videos on the YouTubes. Uh, and if you <laughs> yeah. are listening on YouTube, remember you can, or listening on iTunes, you can also watch live on YouTube. There it is, uh, at, uh, you know, circa sometime in the 8.30 to 9 o'clock hour yeah. on Sunday nights uh, over yeah. on uh, After Buzz TV's YouTube channel. And we are following along with that live chat for anybody who is watching live. Beam. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and speaking of people joining us, I am joined by a wonderful panel of human beings this evening. Yeah, yeah. We've got Andrew Mena <gasps> in the house. I'm a wonderful people. Hey, guys, I'm Andrew Mena. Thank you for the introduction. Yeah, you're very uh, welcome. You can find me on Twitter if you like, <laughs> at Andrew Mena, Instagram at the Andrew Mena, or just Google me. That could be easy, too. And Right next to him, we have got Miss Alexis Torres. Hey guys, I have no voice, but I'm gonna make it through it. Uh, you guys can find me all over the interwebs at a towards a nine zero. I actually like your can lack you of say, voice. Oh, that's right, you I told love me that it. Yeah. Can you say smelly cat? Smelly cat. Ooh, yeah. There it is. There it is, ladies yes. and gentlemen. This is gonna be here for a while. Yes. So. Uh, and I'm Emma Fife. I can be found all over the internet wherever Emma Fifes are sold at. My name, Emma Fife. Hell now, yeah. I've before, that will always be funny to me. I know. For before, some okay, but okay, but before we get into Bob's Burgers, to Andrew, you're like, you can just Google me. Do you Google yourself on the regular? I, I don't. Uh -oh. But I think if you do, you'll probably. Yeah, I, I think there's a pretty good chance it would be. I'm you. gonna try it when yeah. I get home. Okay. It's yeah. gonna happen. You guys I, let me know if it works. I mean, if I Google me, I'm the first Emma Fife that comes up. <laughs> but good. I don't know if that's true for other people because, like, all my internet browsers know that I am Emma Fife. Yeah, that's so true. So I feel that's like true. that has an effect. On huh. my Google results. Ooh, good point. I should try that incognito yeah. window style. There you guys. Yeah. You gotta go to the library. Everyone, oh, no, go to the library. library. Go to the library. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, but don't log into your Gmail because no. otherwise it'll, it'll know. know. It'll know. Yeah. It'll know. Oh, man. So there you go. For anybody uh, who's listening at home, uh, try Googling us and see yes. if we are the first <laughs> search results. I love Just this. let us know. Yes. Uh, so, yes, we had two episodes tonight because, again, we yes. have been off uh, for several weeks now. Uh, the first of which uh, was entitled Winthorpe Manor, or it was entitled Zero Like Th LARP 30, which revolved basically around Linda winning a contest to spend a night at the filming location for the show Winthorpe Manor, wow. which she loves, which basically is Down Downton Abbey. Abbey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I'm sorry, it. I would yeah. do this in a heartbeat. Uh, okay, so this is the hilarious thing. Have either of you guys watched this TV series Manor House? No. Okay, so Manor House, like to me, this was like uh, a spoof of Manor House as much of it was as much as it was a Downton Abbey spoof. Because basically, in Manor House, they have actual like real normal human beings, not actors, oh, no. okay. go like live reality this life. Style. Yes, no. live reality no. show style. No. No, in like you. a Downton Abbey situation. Yeah. How did I not hear about this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can find it. it. Uh, it's all streaming on Amazon Prime for sure. That's it. Uh, I think it might be on Netflix. But yeah, it's really interesting oh, because God. what we saw in this episode was very much the kind of experience that you have watching that show, which is like, it straight up sucked to be a servant. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Absolutely. like, that was a good life during that time. And mm -hmm. like, it's by modern sensibilities, it is terrible. Like on Manor House, they are constantly losing the servants. Like the servants constantly keeping like, I can't do this anymore. And they're like, frequently just hiring new maids. <laughs> just cycling through. I can't, yep. I can't wait to watch this. Yeah, yes. Did you guys watch another period? I love another period. Yeah, also, another uh, yes. that show. That okay. is a spoof of Downton Abbey. Yeah, okay. that's what it was reminding me of in a big yeah. way. Yeah, no, definitely. Because it was. It was a comedic approach to right. that kind so of like upstairs, downstairs sort mm -hmm. of living situation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was really interesting because neither of these episodes spent any time in the restaurant at all. Nope. Yeah. 
which is so unusual for Bob's Burgers because pretty much every episode, even though a lot of the time, you know, the majority of the action does take place at a separate location, mm -hmm. there's usually at least like one or two scenes of them like hanging out in the restaurant and like they, they basically just got right into it with both of these episodes of mm -hmm. like, nope, we're just gonna, we're just gonna head out on our various adventures. Uh, there was a lot with the kids and Teddy in the apartment upstairs. Yeah, but we didn't actually enter the restaurant. Yeah, all, yeah. Which I was okay with. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Yeah, but I do miss their like, little meetups of like, okay, this is what we're doing, guys. This right. is the plan. And but... since you mentioned Teddy, oh, the Teddy oh, storyline. Oh, I liked oh, Teddy's Teddy storyline. <laughs> I'm such a fan of Teddy storylines now, you guys. Like, well, like, I was a big fan in the beginning, but now I'm just, oh, God, I'm a diehard Teddy fan. Like, yeah. <laughs> his stories are like always like, oh, oh, Teddy's in it? Oh, okay, let's, let's do this. I like, agree. I'm ready. They're so crazy. Well, because Teddy is <laughs> so committed. Yes, and, and, I know. And he's because he's so endearing because he is so committed to these sort of crazy ideas that he has, and yet he has this extremely lovely, optimistic outlook on life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he was like, "Flip me over, kids! Don't matter. It doesn't matter how much I yell. We gotta get. We gotta get me on there." I know. Like, ugh. Like, yep. You, you're a man of action, Teddy. No, no one can <laughs> say otherwise. Yeah. No, I uh, did. I love the scene where they just like strapped him to the door and dragged him, or like a police system, police system lowered him that. down the stairs. Because he is like, he is competent. He's like a carpenter. He could like figure all that out. But oh, if you if you let Gene do it and he starts high fiving people, it's not I gonna know, work out. I know. And well, he forgot the wheels. Oh. Too. Yeah. yeah. Too. Oh my goodness. But they seem to have resolved that. Yeah. They did. Pretty quick. I was actually really surprised that he didn't fly into the street, which is what I was afraid yeah. of. I was like, oh no, we're gonna get a crazy home alone. Oh, he's gonna fly onto a on a truck that's just about to take off. And yeah, then it does. Right. And then, and then, then like, the... go find Teddy. Yeah, oh the, the rest of the which episode would be the kids. Fun, but, you know, yeah, tracking down Teddy. Different, That'd different be story. insane. Yeah, uh, alas, it was not. Uh, and I did, I loved the detail of like, oh, the doctor, you know, the chiropractor took the day off. Because he was at the quinceanera. Oh, I love so much, Dr. Juarez. Oh, and his little sequence too, where he like sneaks up on cracking his bag. He's yes. like, ah. oh, poor Teddy. Like, he's just kind of talking to him, trying to like lure him into like not thinking about right. it. Right. So funny. But just like only in the Bob's Burgers like town would you have a situation of somebody of like, tracking someone down at a quinceanera <laughs> mm -hmm. and the doctor literally just being fine with it. Like he had no reaction whatsoever. Yeah, like, oh, okay. yeah. 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 I mean, it's also Teddy though. That too. is true. So like yeah. that's part of it. Like, you know, you're dealing with Teddy. Yes, that, <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, uh, so in. let's, let's talk a little bit more about uh, this time spent on the <laughs> set of good old Winthorpe Manor. Uh, so Bob and, so basically they win this contest to go spend the night there. And everybody like paid the you know same amount of money to enjoy this experience, which was basically LARPing, but instead of like D and D in the woods, it was like <laughs> upstairs, downstairs in a house. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's that was perfect. Uh, what it was. Same thing. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> and so like, unfortunately, you know, Linda's so excited to go do this, but she and Bob are servants. <laughs> Yeah. Like, she is a chambermaid, uh, and he is a footman. Oh, I love that. Uh, now, a little small detail was they were talking about when they were going to, like, go on that, like, stroll about the gardens mm -hmm. after Linda has been fired from being the chambermaid and is now going to have whatever Charlene's job was, because yeah. <laughs> Charlene is now the chambermaid. I, I think a little detail is that, like, a, ch a chambermaid wouldn't, like, wait on the lady of the house in the middle of the night, like that would be a lady's maid. Like a lady's yeah, maid is a, is a step higher. Like a lady's maid is actually like a very prominent position. So I had a, I had a small problem with that. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I was a little confused because I was like, I thought chambermaids usually are like, they're in not specific parts of the house, yeah. but I know that they're not specifically supposed to be doing that. They're just like Yeah, sleep they're housemaids. Get... Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, shouldn't okay. she be cleaning So that was stuff? like, exactly. That was like in the first season of um, Downton, Downton Abbey. Abbey. Uh, yeah. Egret, I can't remember what her name was. Yeah, on the no, show. I know what you're talking about though. But that was she was a she was a housemaid. housemaid. Wait, wait, yeah. Egret from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, she was in. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's on the. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's yeah. on the first oh, yeah. season. It's of, great. Yeah. Wait, she's only in the first season. She's only on the, the first, first season. I only have to watch the first season. That's it. <laughs> but you should probably watch all of them. Well, it's so good. It's I'm so. I'm so late. It's a soap opera. It's ridiculous. But it's great. It's totally great. Yeah. Indeed. But yeah. So so that was like a little detail that I was like, I don't think that's right. But also. So who cares? Who cares? Yeah. I just it's love that comedy. they had the bells from Downton Abbey. Yes. Where it had, like, the, if you've ever watched, they have like the, literally their opening sequence is the bells ringing. And yeah. Stuff. I just like that they threw that in the background. Somewhere. Yeah, no, it's great. Well, and also when she was, when uh, the like lady of the house like summoned 
Linda to her chambers, who was going by the name, I want to say Iris was her name. Yes, that was her name. So she like goes upstairs and she's like, bring me some bed wine. And she was like, oh, (laughs) fine, whatever you say. Like, I don't think that's a thing, but. Just wine that you're having in bed. Yep, (laughs) yep. And then they decide to, after Linda, you know, gets shunned uh, and no longer has her position as a, and and we still don't 100% like figure out what Linda's job is is once she gets demoted yeah we just know that she's just not allowed to go to the the tulip yeah they're like going to the tulip gardens yeah, or something, something like that but it was funny because like linda was the one that really wanted to be there and she's the one yeah. who ended up like turning everything on its head and making everything that's, kind of awful yeah. uh, that's always her way that's kind of exactly what she did when she when the tina had the sleep the, yeah. the, sleepover. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. night where yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and the other sleepover too yeah always, no every Every sleepover, every sleepover yeah. that Linda ends up being in charge yeah. of, it just, it always goes to crap. Linda can't sleep anywhere but home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even goes that sometimes. Poorly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's Linda kind of, shouldn't go to sleep. Yeah, just at all. <laughs> it's kind of like an expectations versus reality kind yeah. of thing. Because obviously, yeah. like, Linda went in with this expectation of she would be one of, you know, a lady of the house. And yep. people would wait on her. And it would be amazing. And they'd have this, you know... Seven course post LARP feast. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I'm sorry. I love to eat. I can't do seven courses, guys. Oh man, it sounds like a lot. It like, sounds like a lot. I of want food. to imagine they take breaks though. You know, yeah. They're they, like, all right, oh, yeah, let's do like take a, a round, a, like walk a, around a, the a table. Brandy and cigar break. And right? then come back. Yeah. Oh, okay, that, that's that like could a, be a thing too. Let's take a stroll in the garden while we wait for the turkey to. Mm, what is that? Like a six bride. hour dinner? Like, yeah. I can't, can't I'm kind of down for that though. <laughs> yeah. Marathon dinner where you also just chill out with all your friends and kind of play board games. And, and then come back yeah. and then have more, and more stuff. Yeah. yeah. You okay. can have like a progressive dinner. And a house that big, you might as well make it like a progressive dinner yeah. where it's like, you know, you eat one course in the drawing room and yeah. then mm. the next one in the lounge. No, that's or fine. Oh, just con- real life clue. Consume <laughs> the real life. As you're running around talking about who's like, I'll have a turkey. Trying to murder you. In the ballroom yeah. <laughs> with some gravy. <laughs> I love it. And a glass of port. Mm. But but yeah, no, that uh what was it? The was it a parfait or something? Oh yeah, the parfait. Oh yeah, the like Seven trifle layer that they had. Yeah. Or yeah. The thing was the size of like a small child. It I was loved the like specific parf the giant parfait dish it was in. Like, yeah. oh my god, like you made it just for that. It looked like a planter. <laughs> it did. It really looked though <laughs> like it, it was. It was like uh you know, you get like those cute little individual servings of parfaits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like just eight times that size. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. And uh, yeah, because basically Linda decides to lead the servants' revolt. Mm-hmm. And I, I loved how it went down that basically she made this plan with Bob, who's like in like Flynn with the oh. with the <laughs> upper echelon of the household. Yep. Super excited about Clay Pigeon. Oh my hey God. He, he was really good at it. He was good at it. He was. So fun. Um, yeah. And I was afraid for a second that Bob was maybe going to betray them, but he yeah. didn't. He came through. I'm really proud yeah. of him. He played both sides very well. He did. He did. He did. And then he just like stole the crank to the car because it was, they had like old fashioned cars. You had to like wind them up to get them started and oh, they no couldn't word. drive very far. Uh, and, oh, and it was in the reaction of what's the, those servants doing in the auto? Like, come on guys. <laughs> you can literally go, what are they doing in our car? Yeah. Like, they're role playing so hard. Yeah. Everyone was role LARPing. playing yeah. really hard. I will. Real committed. I know. I give them credit. Yeah. I will absolutely give I them. I would have broke hair credit. Get inspiration. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. Yep. But and then well and then it was like the the whole sort of like living in that kind of society with those different attitudes you can see sort of start to rub off on all of the people who are in the servants role cuz they're like eating the food that's not yeah. for them and they're like oh uh, this this feels so wrong but it tastes so, so good. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I love right after Linda like tries to incite the revolt and the one guy's like yeah let's clean up our station so it's all clean and tidy like before. Right. And they're like yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Linda's reaction at the end, where she's like, "I'm so glad that we live in a society now where there are no classes." And Bob's like, "Yeah, I, I get what you meant. I get what you yeah, meant. I know what you're trying to say." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that basically, you know, during that time, life was only good for the really, really rich Re- people. Because they, I mean, the, you're talking about a time period where the middle class was just emerging. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Industrial. Yeah, kind of turn of kind <laughs> yeah. of turn of the century. Yeah. Late eight. Well, because they were they said they said specifically eighteen nineties, which would yes. have definitely been like just the very beginnings yeah. of 
there being a real middle class. And even then it was like, there was a middle class, but it was very, very small. And yeah. I mean, that's actually like a plot on Downton Abbey that like, <laughs> oh, so good. is like the sort of emergence of the middle class. And also that like one of the, you know, some of the servants mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. to leave service and mm -hmm. like go into the workforce. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It gets so really fancy. good. Yeah. 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 It's really good. I so watch that. So yeah. applicable to our modern life. <laughs> it really is. It really is. But at the same time, it's like, it's so interesting, though, because, like, you think about it. If you are a servant in a household, they pay your wages. They're they not a lot. But also, you have a home. Like, yep. you don't have to pay rent or anything. And then technically, yeah. you have a meal every time. You yeah, know? you get fed. Here yeah. in L.A., that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, right? I do it in a heartbeat. So, uh, <laughs> yes, if any... If, any, <laughs> if anyone wants to start a Downton Abbey. Yes, yeah, if anyone wants to start a Downton Abbey. Yes, yeah, I will yeah. be there. <laughs> we, will, we will be your household staff. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I get a sweet tux, I'm in. Yes. Yeah, no, I loved that Bob was so happy that he got a pocket watch. I know. He got this pocket watch. Oh, my, my character uses it. <laughs> yes, like, like I love the props. He did, he had like this backstory <laughs> for Oliver the Footman. I loved it, it was it's fantastic. It's on loan from the museum or whatever it said. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yep. my goodness. And because of that, but I also did love the scene too, like the way that it all kind of ended there were just, they were in the library eating. Because basically the guy who hosted this, you know, event, like put down a deposit on the place and everybody ended up yeah. just tearing it apart. And he's like, oh, there's no way I'm getting my deposit back. But then when they were in the library, because basically the servants lock all of their sort of like lords and ladies outside mm -hmm. of the glass doors of the library so they can see them eat. Eating. The, the like you know multi-layer trifle that they have <laughs> which backfires on them because they can see and the one lady who's you know sort of like the head she's of the household insane. she's like that's my cake and she <laughs> throws a thing that was throws a statue you. through the door yeah like that was insane and i love it because he was like that's it. We're done. Yep. You're out of yeah. here. I and totally then... thought the statue was going to hit the parfait and so that they yes. wouldn't be able to eat it. Yes. No, but oh. instead it was like a, a walking dead. That's what it felt like felt to like me. It's just consumerism, like, oh but, with a, but with a parfait. Oh my God, that's I'm so, so funny. Not a, not a human body. Yeah. So. But that's exactly what I thought. I'm really glad I wasn't the other one. No, I'm like, There's I something wrong with me. Yeah. I'm thinking of a. Yeah. No, I totally, I totally felt the exact same way, but yeah. But I, I think my favorite part of that entire episode was the cut from when everybody was in their, mm. their LARPing costumes and then it cuts them being in the car with their regular clothes on. Yeah, but they're, they're just, still in the old fashioned car. Yes. And like the guy who's head of this entire thing is still in his clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he's just like, he's all like, angry. you're done. Goodbye. And then Linda's just like, well, I mean, that was, we did some LARPing. Yeah. <laughs> LARPing, guys. I was no, like, I Linda, shut up. I know. In the end, like, she liked it, even though, like, she's the one who made Through it go. Everything. I, I love it so much. She's such a mom. Like, yeah. yeah. I love it because even oh, Bob was like, was I loved it. I had a great time. Yeah. Oh, yep. And he did. He did. Yep. Oh, All right. Good. So moving on to uh, the Laserinth. Now, when I read this title, I had a moment where I thought, that it was gonna be a labyrinth <laughs> spoof. Yeah, no, that would have been cool. Which oh, I would have a hundred percent been on board with. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up. I did not get a chance to yes. watch this episode. It's, it's I was just in the Samurai Jack panel. Yes. So. Uh, here I yeah, am. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to the fact that uh, our show has been on hiatus for several weeks, yep. uh, there was a little confusion with recording things, but it's all good. It's all good. Yes. We're making it work. Yeah. Here we are. We so can't, I can't wait for you to hear I know, what I'm this episode be, is about. I'm going to be responding entirely to what they say. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, it's Bob's birthday. And in the morning, uh, after having his uh, muffin soup, because Linda cannot <laughs> bake. And she, she didn't put flour. Oh, uh, yeah. She tried to make him a muffin. But it's... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> she was like, here's your birthday breakfast. She's Whoa. like, is it oatmeal? <laughs> but even when, like, I love the, even just, like, the tiny animation of him picking up the muffin, it just, like, disintegrating. <laughs> yeah, because she didn't put any flour in it. Yeah. So I was surprised that he ate it still. Well, I mean, he, he tried. Took a, he took that's, a bite of it. Yeah. And that's she was a real like, husband, y'all. But I yep. love that she was just like, I didn't have any coffee yet, so <laughs> this is why this is happening. Yeah. I was like, all right, Linda, it's fine. Yeah, so basically, he's like, you know, they're sitting around the table. He's, like, reading the newspaper. Uh, newspaper paper and he yeah. realizes that it's the last ever laser rock and roll show at the planetarium which by the way that planetarium scenario just was Griffith Observatory they literally yeah. just animated Griffith Observatory oh that's awesome but they yeah. put a like uh, a like parking deck next yeah. to it which is awesome which they yeah. should do which they I really think they should do that at Griffith Observatory yeah. so <laughs> that would be great that would be nice uh yeah so 
uh, he tries to convince the family to go, and they're all like, yeah, yeah that would be great sure, to go sure. do that for your birthday. But mm-hmm. Gene eventually agrees. Yeah, he was kind of like, I mean, I that sounds interesting. I'll yeah. go for you, Dad, you know, kind of thing. So basically, Aww. it is Takes this one for the team. This yeah. um, band called Zentipede. Oh, my God. And it's this absurd rock opera. <laughs> I love to a laser light show. It's like a at a planetarium. It's like a it's like a Jeff Wayne War of the Worlds or like a I don't know if you guys ever saw that Queen musical on the West End. I did. We will rock you. It's like so good that much plot where it's like (laughs) we're really forcing plot out of this. Yeah. But I mean, like my dad, oh, my dad always talked about, especially when he was when he was young, going to the mm-hmm. to the Griffith Observatory, doing because they did stuff like that. I mean, yeah. I don't know if they still do stuff like that. I mean, that. they still have a planetarium. Yeah, I know, but I don't know if they do laser light shows. I know for I mean, if they just, did, I would go. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what guys. I'm sad about. I know that they have like different shows. I just don't think it's a laser light show. But anytime mm-hmm. we went to the Griffith Observatory, that was like the first thing my dad would mention. He's like, "Oh, back in my day, we had this and yeah. this, and it was to Led Zeppelin, and it was amazing." And I was like. Why are we not doing that anymore? Because uh, kids don't listen to Led Zeppelin anymore. And I, I was guess like, not. Oh, that hurts my soul. No. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it reminded me of when he said Zent- like Zent- 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 Zentipede. Yeah. yeah, I thought of Led Zeppelin, and I was like, eh, that's yeah. actually really funny. Yes, yeah. <laughs> sweet letter Z. Yeah. yeah, it's all the it's the it's the rebels plot to take down the evil general insanity, and <laughs> he ends up like getting captured. But then all the prisoners are on top of a hill, and he realizes they can roll rocks down. <laughs> To, to defeat the robot <laughs> army. Making it rock and roll. To, yeah, to defeat <laughs> the <laughs> army. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They literally amazing. roll rocks to save rock and roll. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really was. Like, the, the, the plot, quote unquote, of mm. We Will Rock You is that, like, everyone is just, like, so plugged into the internet and homogenized. Yeah. And the, like, rebellious characters are like, man, there used to be, like, great music. Yep. Let's bring that back. Like, that's, that's legit <laughs> the plot of We Will Rock that's You. It. I love that. Uh, yeah. No pretense. No, no, none of it. No, hey, you know, it'd be uh, great if we sang a bunch of Queen songs. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, that is really exactly what it was. Well, and that, and there's this great conversation between Gene and Bob, where Bob's like explaining the story to him, oh, and Gene's so like, cool. and Gene's like, oh, so he rolls rocks to save rock and roll, and Bob's like, yeah, yeah. this plot is not subtle. No, <laughs> not even close. But I want to know from you, Andrew. Yes. You hear, okay, rock and roll laser light show. The year now is. 2017 they're not sure. really making that kind of rock music it's not something that you're necessarily exposed to on a daily basis what is your reaction to hearing that do you want to go see that or are you like oh I don't know I mean that sounds pretty cool like it's something in the real world or is something yeah, for something the show yeah something in the real world really, yeah, it sounds pretty cool it sounds interesting uh, it definitely sounds like a th- like a re- like it's it's obviously and like sounds like a reboot like a thing that we've done that right. we're redoing right right you know okay I mean? yeah 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 I could see that coming back as like a, a revival like not, yeah yeah like everyone's very like into nostalgia Kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah like, like, I, I could like, see that. Like, I feel like if the Griffith Observatory is like, hey, we're going to bring back this light show. It's only going to be for this weekend. Right. And it's going to be this rock and roll light show that we did back in, I don't know, 1885. Not 1885. 1885. 1885. Oh, man. The Griffiths were doing laser shows <laughs> yes. way back in the day. They, 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 they were really rocking out. They had oh, some, uh, they, had, they were busting out some Beethoven. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Um, <laughs> but like. <laughs> Uh, oh, man. I would actually still go to that. I, <laughs> um, I would just, 18th century people. Being like, it's the trippiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, curse that open. I will admit um, that was all I could think of when the laser light show was going on. I was like, oh, this is something you get totally stoned and yeah. go to. Yeah. But I love that they brought that up because remember, uh, Gene actually says in the episode, he's like, why does it smell like a, why does it smell like a skunk is smoking? Like oh, cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, hey. and Bob, yeah. yeah, he was like, uh, you know what? That's, that's exactly what it is. That's yeah. what that's that is. It's a skunk. It's smoking cigarettes. cigarettes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, it was great. Yep. Well, because apparently, so you find out that Bob was like really into this when he was about 16. Yes. Sure. And Gene's only 11. Right. So it's like a little, it's a little much for yeah. Gene. It's but probably I, not ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very overwhelmed. And so they exit the theater and there's this very strong policy of like, you can't re-enter once oh, you no. exit. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, so he leaves for Gene. 
He does, but they sit oh, in the God. car for a minute and he explains that's when he has that great moment of explaining the whole story to him. And then Gene's like, all right, I want to see it now. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, so then they have to get the scalper and... Uh, oh, my God, the scalper was so ridiculous. Yeah. There's a scalper? That's a scalper, yes. yeah. Okay. For, this, for this observatory yeah, planetarium thing. Yeah, sold out. Thing. Sold yeah. out. Sure. Sold out show. Yeah. 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 Big deal show. Oh, oh yeah. My God. What, was uh, he, what was he selling? He was selling slap bracelets. Yeah, slap bracelets, tickets, <laughs> and, and something else. One, I, can't I can't remember what the other thing was that he was selling. He but, still has slap bracelets. But I love it, well, I love it because every time he did it, he was like, ow. <laughs> you can wear it as a choker. And it just ow. like clamps in like his into neck. his neck. And he's like, <laughs> oh, <geez>. ow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he pretty much like what he like tries to resell. Well, not resell. No, because because they couldn't get back in because the security guard was very into his job. I, know. I was like, all right, <laughs> nobody gets in or gets out. Get it? I, I, I got it. Um, they tried to go back to the scalper and be like, hey, you still got tickets? And he's like, no. And then this elaborate plan with the Knicks was so ridiculous. Good. So like, I, I feel like I'm like taking over. Emma, if you wanted to like jump back in there what? or no. What? No, go, go, go. I was you're like, no, Alexis, you're on a roll. Keep okay. going. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, so they they talk back to Scalper. He's like, I don't have any tickets, but I have a way for you to get it. Yes. And <laughs> so he's like, okay, there's. I'm going to give you a phone number. I'm going to give you a passphrase. You have to call. <laughs> so good. Got, I love it so the, much. The, the phone line goes to the concession stand, but there's uh, but there's a, a cool guy and a not so cool guy. Okay. And in order for you to do that, you have to get the cool guy. Okay, okay so what's the cool guy's name? Uh, they're both named Nick. What? <laughs> and he's like, so you gotta figure out which one's cool Nick and which one's uncool Nick. Also, oh, you gotta be man. careful because uncool Nick knows that we do this and he doesn't like that. So Bob's like, I don't know what to do with this yeah. situation. But it turns out that there's actually only one Nick. One Nick. Who pretends to be two different Nicks because oh, he gets no. bored. That's... It's so funny. <laughs> it's so, but, That's amazing. But the thing is, is like... The Bob and Jean plotline is fantastic. I love it so much. The other plotline with Louise and the oh girls. Oh my god, we didn't even talk about that. And, and Linda, it, it's <laughs> equally amazing. Because basically, <laughs> Linda's like, okay, uh, Bob, great. You and Jean go do a, go to this laser light show that has Bob and Jean written all over it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take the girls and we're gonna have dinner with Gretchen because Gretchen has been bugging us to hang out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go meet her at her work in the mall and then like go get dinner. So they go to where Gretchen works <laughs> and it is legit the American Girl doll store. I oh. mean, it's not called American Girl doll. It's called like Special, Special Girl. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> but like it really, it is. It's the American Girl doll store. Like all of the dolls have like oh, so backstories creepy. and whole <laughs> yes, like. Thank you. Uh, is it super creepy? Um, well, Tina's super creeped out. Okay. Great. But what I thought was really cute is it actually turns into a story about Louise becoming really attached to this one doll. Because of her backstory. So basically, like, they go, and it's this really funny sequence of, like, Gretchen is, you know, now doing doll hair instead of human hair. Sure. And, uh, and, seems, and, seems right. and right. Louise is like, do you miss, like, actual human beings? And she's like, no. Uh, and she's, and they're like, and she's like, I thought we could use my discount and go to the cafe here. And they're like, okay. <laughs> After she gives a blowout to this doll, because sure. this doll has a very important sleepover to go to. <laughs> Like the little girl's like, yeah, it's like super huge, and yeah. she's like, all right, come yeah, down. let's do it, let's, let's do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she she's uh, doing this doll's hair, and they go to the cafe, and in order at the American Girl Cafe, it's not the case. Like you can. Yeah. They have dolls. That's a real thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a cafe you can... Yeah. Use and the American Girl doll store? Oh, yeah. So much oh, to yeah. learn. Go oh, on. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, so basically, if you go to the American Girl doll cafe, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to have a doll in order to dine there. I do believe that they have mm -hmm. dolls that it's like, if you don't have one, have and one there's a one. little girl who's at the American, like she can like borrow a doll to like yes. eat at the cafe. But at, this, at, the, at the Special Girl Cafe, you literally are not allowed to eat there without a doll. So they make them all <laughs> take dolls off the shelves. And it's not even just like the little girls. Like I thought it was just gonna be Tina and Louise had to bring oh, a no, doll. Oh no, no, no. No, the adults they have each, to bring a doll They everyone. each have their own doll. Yep. I love it. But I love that the dolls have their own chair. They do, they have like little high chairs that just like clip on the table. Did they name the dolls or did the dolls no, already come, come with, with names? names? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember like, all the names of the dolls? Uh, I remember who? the most important one, which was Francine. Francine. 
Uh, so basically, That's Louise's doll. Yeah. Uh, no, it's actually Tina's doll. Oh, who she doesn't yeah. want to associate. Yeah, so they all, all okay. and they're all these dolls with like historical backstories <laughs> of like, uh, you know, this doll's uh, was the very first girl to ever wear glasses in public. That was Louise's doll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then Tina's well. doll Francine joined a ballet troupe, and then. Uh, her ballet troupe traveled to Russia, wherein she became a spy for the Americans <laughs> at the start of the Cold War. <laughs> like, that was her backstory. That's super dope. Yeah. Super cool. Right. The raddest. So Louise was like, that doll is awesome. <laughs> and Gretchen explains that basically, and, and so the, the waiter tells them basically that their that doll is being retired. And because she's being Gretchen. retired, they won't keep that doll at the cafe anymore. So uh, what they try to do is get rid of all the stock. So they donate most of the dolls mm -hmm. to, like, you know, orphanages. So that's all good, except the dinner dolls. The dinner dolls get thrown in the equivalent of a doll wood chipper and become yep. part of the mats in the play area. And Gretchen <laughs> has the worst story where she's like, yeah. sometimes the eyeballs don't shred, so then you're just, it looks like a little kid's just staring at you from... The play place. And oh, I was just like, no. horrifying. Oh my God. But I love that it wasn't like her just laughing and then being like, what? You guys need to like lighten up. She was yeah. like, yeah, it's a little messed up. Yeah, she was like, yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, that is really messed up. Yeah, yeah. she's like, I'm just going to sip my wine over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. Yep. That uh, like oh God, it was uh, great. It was. So, but Louise <laughs> really wants to like rescue this doll because yeah. she has a cool backstory. Mm. So, She's like, all right, we're gonna just take the doll and make a run for it uh, because they can't they can't catch all of us. <laughs> so Gretchen's like, no, 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 I need this job. I have a plan. <laughs> and they basically, She's down. yeah, oh they, yeah, oh yeah, they basically pull like a bait and switch okay. where Linda sends the waiter to go oh box up the doll food, and he's like, that's the doll food. It doesn't leave the cafe. And she's like, ah, oh, but can you just go like? pretend to put it in a box and can bring it to the dolls and be like, here's your box. <laughs> it's so great. And I love how the waiter was just, he didn't care at all. I know. He was just like, I guess well, I can do that And it's so creepy to the way they like introduce the process of how things work in this doll cafe because he just like shows up with some cinnamon buns and is like, did one of you yeah, guys order some cinnamon, cinnamon buns? So weird. And they're like, no, no. He's like, oh, it must have been one of the dolls. Oh, Sarah. It's that's not the doll's name, but oh, the cinnamon buns are her favorite. Like it's so creepy. That is so scary. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's what yep. I was saying, and I love it because Tina's just like, can you Horror let me know? I know if Tina my is doll... hyperventilating. Yeah. yeah, she was just like, can you just can you let me know if my doll orders anything? Sure, I, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. Terrifying. Uh, no, it's hysterical. Uh, and then. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Gretchen, again, like, comes up with this plan where basically she's like, okay, Louise, here's what you gotta do. You're gonna take the doll, you're gonna go, uh, and you're gonna get, uh, a Sabrina, mm -hmm. uh, Sabrina dress, a Sabrina hairband, Sabrina shoes, a Sabrina accessory pack. Like, she has to, she basically, they disguise. The one doll the is doll. a different well, character. Well, because Gretchen's like, well, if she's a spy, she's gonna be great at disguise. <laughs> <laughs> so they literally disguise her oh, as so this good. other doll in order to sneak her out of the cafe. And they bring her over to uh, Gretchen's station, and Gretchen redoes her hair so she looks yeah. like, like Sabrina. this Sabrina doll. Yeah. And they switch it out, and they put Sabrina back on the shelf, and her in the Sabrina box. Yep. Which I was like, oh my god, that's so smart. Yep. That but also, I don't know dope. how they would have gotten away with that. Yep, and that's... Because uh, cameras. <laughs> yeah, well, tiny. I mean, I mean, granted, I'm assuming that a lot of the things that go down in Bob's Burgers Town, that's not, uh, yeah. that's not how that works. That's actually, uh, <laughs> that's true. I, I believe they could get away with this in yeah. uh, Bob's Burgers Town. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. Uh, and uh, in the end, you know, Louise, not super girly. Her initial reaction when she walks into the store is like, are there enough girly girls in the world to like keep this place running? She, she was one of them. Yeah, she ends up getting the Turns doll. Turns out. Yes. Yep. And Tina and Tina sucks up her doll fear in order to allow her sister to get Damn this doll. I was like, I secret, so sweet. secret Russian spy doll. It <laughs> makes me so happy. Yes. It's like the boys for now episode. Aww. Yeah. 
sister yes. bonding. I love, I love it. it. It's great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I've two gotta really watch this episode. really great episodes this week. Uh, and yeah, we have a, another episode next week, mm-hmm. so yeah. we will uh, we will be back once again. But until then, uh, Andrew, where can the people find you? Find me on the internet. Uh, go to Twitter at Andrew Mena, Instagram uh, the Andrew Mena. Google me. It's easy. <laughs> Alexa I still want to know, like, if you if people would just Google you, if your name just comes right up. Google me and then at me. I need to know, and I need to know. So send it to my Twitter <laughs> at atorres eight nine zero. Please, at please, please. Uh, yes. Uh, quick shout out to uh, the Butler on iTunes uh, for hey. your uh, wonderful five star review. Thank Woo! you so much. The Butler. Uh, if you guys feel <laughs> so inclined as to leave iTunes reviews as well, you will also get a shout out on the show uh, from me, Emma Fife. I can be found all over the internet at my name. Uh, come back tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be covering Attack on Titan season yeah! two. Uh, Alexis and I are both on the panel for that show. Uh, also, uh, be sure to check out TV Talk over on Collider. Uh, we are doing. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow. They, we usually leave the put the episodes up around like four thirty five, uh, and then the week after that, we are doing our trial run of Daily TV Talk, streaming live at eight o'clock a.m. Pacific time, eleven o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Holy crap! Every day Man. that week, I'm going to be on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So uh, be sure to come check that out. And if it goes well, we'll be going daily for the foreseeable future, which will be awesome. Yeah. Thank nice. you guys again so much for joining us. We will see you all again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.